getting ready for their feature race. All yours, big fella. 20 laps of journey. Thanks, Just mate. Lead them away. We are away. Green flag waves. And it is Joshua Dreamer that leads the field down into turn one. Ben Hull settles into second. Oh, look out. There's cars everywhere down the back. Someone's gone around. Can't actually see the number from here. Rusty, got your hat, mate. As I nearly get run over by Rusty Whitaker. It's the 83 of Matty Wright. Oh, Matt Wright in the 83 car there, losing it down in turn one, which will constitute a full restart, and Joshua Dreamer will be going, you kidding me, man, I've got the greatest start in town, and now I've got to start all over again. Dan Mays on the front row there in the four car. He's busier than Compton Road on a Friday again in the V6 Brigade. Oh, yeah. Yellow lights are out. We are going to zing them away this time. Green Dreamer trying to repeat it, but Dan Mose says, hey, you caught me once, not twice. Mose leads, Dreamer settles into second. Ben Hull's back there in third, then I think it's Brett Chandler. Scotty Thompson in behind the 54 as the field makes it all the way round by the look of it for lap number one. Yeah, Dreamer down the inside of Mose. Mose gets pushed up to the wall. Settles down, then Tasha Hearn in the middle of the field. Great job from the young lady in the 29 car. Meanwhile, out in front, two down, 18 to run. Josh Dreamer leads the field. Dan Myers, yellow lights are on. Just trying to see, I can't yeah, actually it's see. Matty, where... Matty Wright again, mate. Matty Wright again in the 83. Oh, there he is. Yep, okay. Yeah. He's a champion. Love him. Couldn't ask for a better person on the spanners. All right, back to green we go in the wingless sprints feature. Thanks to Ian Botcher Race Parts. The series continues on. Joshua Dreamer leads the field. Here comes Mose down the inside. He wants that lead back, but Dreamer not willing to surrender at the moment. Hull sits back there in third spot. But further back, it's Brand Channel, Scotty Thompson, Mason Cattell. Let me go back to, uh, I think it's Michael Butcher in the 36 car. Natasha Hearn there coming under fire. I think it's from Dave Eggins in the Rod Mac Transport 71. So Egan's having a look on uh, young Natasha Hearn, trying to get underneath the 29 car. He might get it done down here into one and two. But I tell you what, Natasha Hearn, she is saying no way and slamming the door at every chance she gets. Brad Keeler brings in the number two, so that's an unfortunate end for his night. Unusual to see him on the infield. Meanwhile, out in front of him is still Dreamer, who has now opened up a couple of car links over Dan Mose. Ben Hull sits back there in third spot. Still Brent Chandler in fourth from Scotty Thompson, who's trying to find a way past the Sheltie Small Goods 54. Can't at the moment. Mason Gattel about to uh, feel the wrath of Michael Butcher in the 71. Eggins has got past Natasha Hearn, but Eggins is right up against the wall in one and two and almost lets the young lady back through on the inside. Who she does have a look down into turn three. I think that's Robinson in behind. Those two fighting for position it is. It's Paul Robinson. There's young uh, Jacob Jolly having a shot down into uh, turn number one. I think it's on Cody O'Connell in the Transmill car. Meanwhile, out in front, Moses closed the gap back up on Dreamer. Dreamer's got a fight on his hands if he wants to take the win in the Ian Butcher Race Part Series round here tonight. Still in third spot, it's Benny Hull now going around the outside. And trying to have a look, it is Timmy Harris in the 75 car. I've got a feeling he's going a lap down. Because I haven't seen him up the front of the field as yet. So I've got a funny feeling he's a lap car. As uh, Mason Cattell gets underneath the 75 and he stays well out of the way up against the board. Butch has dropped back off the back of uh, Mason Cattell. Natasha Hearn has got back past Eggins. And not only has she got back past him, but Robinson's gone past as well. So Egan's drops two spots in the last few laps. Half race distance just past that nine left to run. And it is the car of Dreamer. Here comes Mose down the inside. Dreamer shuts the door firmly in his face. This is allowing Ben Hull up into the group. And it's a battle three on three. Chandler and Thompson are trying hard to get back up into that fight. Cattell and Butcher may well get into that as well. Cody O'Connell's found some form and he is now on the back of Natasha Hearn as they all try and find a way past Timmy Harris, the lap car in 75. 
Robinson on the back. Egan still persisting with the high line through three and four. Jacob Jolly slides underneath the Robnack Transport 71. Bit further back, it is a 27 of uh, Jamie Usher. Mick Reed goes through along with Davey Ellis. They're about to get lapped by our race leaders. They are still being led by Drever. Moses dropped back about a car length. Scotty Thompson's gone well high through one and two, and that's allowed Mason to tell through. So Thompson's gone back from fifth to sixth. Grant Chandler now in the mix and in the fight for podium positions with four laps left to run this time by. Dream has got a couple of car lengths. It's where he wants to be. He's not under pressure from Dan Mose, but he's got plenty from Benny Hull, Grant Chandler, and now Mason Cattell. Thompson dropping back towards Michael Butcher. Natasha Hearn still got the battle there with Cody O'Connell, Paul Robinson, Jacob Jolly, Jamie Usher, and uh, still Dave Eggins persists on the high side. It's done nothing but cost him positions through this feature race. Laps are running out very, very quickly. There'll be two to go this time by for our race leader. And the top six, you could almost throw a blanket over. And I dare say the final positions aren't yet sorted. O'Connell has got that rear brake working on the 49 car. It is glowing like a torch. Dreamer comes up to put a lap on Ellis. White flag, one to go. Chandler's having a look on hole. Can he get the final step of the podium? I don't think that anyone's going to catch Dreamer out in front. I think he's going to get the checkered flag. Mose looks like he's going to settle for second. I don't think Chandler can do anything about Hull. I think he's going to hang on for third, but it is Dreamer that gets the win. Mose second, Hull's third. Chandler, then it's Cattell, Thompson, Butcher. Oh, Connell gets Natasha in on the line. Robinson, Jolly, Usher, Eggins. Then it's uh, Mick Reed, the lapped car of Harris. The young fella just held off everything that uh, Mosey threw at him. Talk about experience against youth. And uh, what a great drive by the young bloke. He will be ecstatic when he climbs out of this car. Who says you need a big V8 to put on a great show, Trev? Well, you don't. Dan Moses pulled up here. Mate, congratulations. Folks, please put your hands together once again for Ben Hull. Second place tonight, Dan Mose and our Ian Botcher Race Parts winner for round here tonight in Joshua Dreamer.